In the world of entertainment, the actor stands out as a true pioneer. Born on February 24, 1947, in East Los Angeles, the actor's journey is a testament to the power of hard work and determination. The actor's career spans over four decades, and he has made a significant impact in both film and television. He first gained recognition for his role in the groundbreaking television series Miami Vice, where he played the iconic character Lieutenant Martin Castillo. His portrayal of the tough but fair cop resonated with audiences and critics alike, earning him a Golden Globe nomination. In 1988, the actor took on the role of a lifetime in the film Stand and Deliver. His portrayal of real-life educator Jamie Escalante earned him critical acclaim and a Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. The film tells the story of Escalante's efforts to teach advanced mathematics to inner-city high school students, and it remains a powerful and inspiring tale of perseverance and determination. The actor's work has transcended borders and languages. In 1997, he starred in the groundbreaking film Selena, where he played the father of the late Tejano singer Selena Quinanilla. His performance was praised for its depth and emotion, and it helped introduce Selena's music to a new generation of fans. In addition to his work in front of the camera, the actor is also an accomplished director and producer. He has directed episodes of popular television shows such as The West Wing and Battlestar Galactica, and he has produced films that tackle important social issues. The actor's contributions to the entertainment industry are undeniable, and his impact will be felt for generations to come. He continues to inspire and entertain audiences with his powerful performances and his dedication to his craft. Edward James Olmos is a highly respected actor, known for his powerful performances and distinctive style. His work has stood out among his contemporaries for its depth and emotion. Perhaps he first encountered the actor in his iconic role as Lieutenant Martin Castillo on the hit TV show Miami Vice. Or maybe it was in his memorable performance as the wise and noble Jamie Escalante in the film Stand and Deliver. No matter when or how you first discovered this talented actor, there is no denying the impact he has had on the world of film and television. His work has resonated with audiences for decades, leaving a lasting mark on the industry. Do you have a favorite role or performance of Edward James Olmos? Perhaps you have a cherished memory of watching one of his films or shows with a loved one. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. There are many funny, shocking, and sad facts coming up about this classic star. So be sure to keep watching this video to learn more. Born in East Los Angeles in 1947, the actor's parents worked hard to provide for their family. His father, Pedro Olmos, was a meatpacker, and his mother, Eleanor Huizar, a hotel maid. The actor's early life was filled with struggles, but his parents' determination and resilience left a lasting impression on him. The actor's introduction to the world of entertainment began in high school, where he discovered his passion for acting. He joined the drama club and participated in various school productions. After high school, he pursued his acting career, landing small roles in films and television shows. One of the actor's earliest and most significant influences was the Mexican-American actor Ricardo Montalban. The actor admired Montalban's powerful performances and his advocacy for Latino representation in Hollywood. Montalban's success inspired the actor to break barriers and paved the way for future Latino actors. The actor's big break came in 1982 when he was cast as the lead in the film Zoot Suit. The film was a critical and commercial success and the actor's performance was highly praised. This role catapulted him to fame and opened doors for more significant opportunities in his career. In 1984, the actor was cast as Lieutenant Martin Castillo in the hit television show Miami Vice. His portrayal of the tough, no-nonsense police lieutenant earned him critical acclaim and a loyal fan base. The actor's work on Miami Vice solidified his status as a respected and accomplished actor. Throughout his career, the actor has been a strong advocate for Latino representation in Hollywood. He has used his platform to speak out against stereotypes and to promote diversity and inclusion in the entertainment industry. The actor's dedication to his craft and his community has left a lasting impact on the industry and has inspired future generations of Latino actors. The actor was born in 1947 in East Los Angeles, California. He grew up in a working class family with his parents and seven siblings. 
From a young age, he was drawn to the arts and began his career in the early 1970s as a musician and theater actor. His big break came in 1984 when he starred in the film Blade Runner as the replicant hunting police officer, Gaff. This role solidified his place in Hollywood and opened doors for future opportunities. In 1988, the actor took on the iconic role of Lieutenant Martin Castillo in the television show Miami Vice, which earned him an Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Drama Series. This recognition further established his reputation as a talented and dedicated actor. Throughout his career, the actor has been a strong advocate for social justice and education. He has used his platform to raise awareness about issues affecting the Latinx community and has been involved in various educational initiatives. In 1992, he founded the Latino International Film Festival, which provides a platform for Latinx filmmakers to showcase their work and gain recognition in the industry. The actor has also been involved in various educational programs, including the Lives and Focus Foundation, which aims to empower youth through media arts education. In 1997, the actor received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, honoring his contributions to the entertainment industry. He continues to work in film and television, inspiring audiences with his powerful performances and dedication to social justice. Growing up in East Los Angeles, the actor faced many challenges. However, one constant in his life was his love for movies. As a teenager, he would often skip school to catch matinee shows. One day, while watching an acting class in a studio near the theater, he felt a strong pull towards the craft. He decided to enroll in the class, and that's where it all began. The actor's passion for acting grew stronger with each passing day. He started performing in local theater productions and slowly made his way to the big screen. His breakthrough role came in the late 70s with the film Stand and Deliver, where he played a dedicated high school teacher inspiring his students to strive for academic excellence. This role not only earned him critical acclaim, but also solidified his desire to use his craft as a tool for social change. Despite facing numerous rejections and obstacles, the actor never gave up on his dream. He once said in an interview, I knew I wanted to be an actor, and I was willing to do whatever it took to make it happen. His perseverance and dedication to his craft continue to inspire aspiring actors around the world. The actor has an impressive film career, with five of his films recognized for their cultural, historical, and aesthetic significance by the Library of Congress. These films include Zoot Suit and Blade Runner, where he shares a scene with Harrison Ford, flying over a miniature cityscape filled with models of spaceships, including the Millennium Falcon. In addition to his film work, the actor is a father to Miko and Bodhi, whom he had with Kaijakil. He has also left his mark on the small screen, with notable roles in various TV shows. In Blade Runner, the actor's character, Gaff, plays a significant part in the film's iconic and intricate world. The special effects crew used creative solutions to film the aerial shots of the city, such as tilting the miniature sets at an angle to fit the camera. This detail adds to the film's enduring legacy and resonance in the world of cinema. The actor's contributions to the film and television industry have transcended time leaving a captivating and intricate mark that continues to resonate with audiences. His work is a testament to his versatile talent and prowess as a thespian, which has been analyzed and cherished by many. It is intriguing to step into the world of his films and witness the impact they have had on the tapestry of cinema. Despite facing significant challenges early on, the actor persevered and built a successful career in the film industry. Born in East Los Angeles, the actor struggled financially as a child. His parents worked long hours, leaving him to navigate the difficulties of growing up in a tough neighborhood without much support. Despite these obstacles, the actor discovered a love for acting in high school. However, industry skepticism ran deep, and he faced numerous rejections before landing his first significant role in the show stand and deliver. The film's success helped establish the actor as a talented and dedicated performer, but he still faced an uphill battle in a highly competitive industry. Determined to succeed, the actor turned to creative solutions to overcome these hurdles. He founded his own production company, which allowed him to create and star in projects that reflected his values and experiences. This move not only gave him more control over his career, but also helped pave the way for greater representation and diversity in the industry. 
throughout his career, the actor has continued to push boundaries and challenge stereotypes. He has taken on complex and nuanced roles in both film and television, earning critical acclaim and a devoted fan base. From his early struggles to his current success, the actor's resilience and determination serve as an inspiration to aspiring performers and a testament to the power of perseverance. After graduating from California State University, Los Angeles, the actor, known for his role in Miami Vice, declined an offer to reprise his character, Lieutenant Martin Castillo, in the movie version of the series. He was the only original cast member approached for the reboot. In the sci-fi film Blade Runner, the actor played the role of Gaff. A notable bathroom scene, featuring a pickup shot with Harrison Ford's double, Vic Armstrong, was filmed on a Star Wars studio stage. This edition aimed to showcase more detective work by Rick Deckard, as there had been a complaint about its absence in the original film. An interesting sequence was planned for the same film, featuring a Murphy bed hiding a replicant, intending to start a fight scene. Unfortunately, it was cut due to budget constraints. The collaboration between the actor and Ridley Scott resulted in a memorable and engaging performance in Blade Runner, leaving a lasting impression on the audience. In 1982, the actor's career reached a turning point with his portrayal of El Pachuco in the play Zoot Suit. This role required him to deliver a powerful monologue in Spanish, showcasing his linguistic skills, and earning him a nomination for a Drama Desk Award. A few years later, in 1988, the actor took on the iconic role of Lieutenant Martin Castillo in the television series Miami Vice. His portrayal of the strict, no-nonsense character was a stark contrast to his previous roles and gained him widespread recognition. In 1992, the actor starred in the film American Me, which he also directed and produced. The film received critical acclaim for its raw and realistic portrayal of gang life, with the actor's performance being particularly praised. Critic Roger Ebert noted, the performance of the actor at the center of the film is a model of understated, powerful acting. The actor's career continued to soar in 1997 when he was cast as Commander William Adama in the critically acclaimed television series Battlestar Galactica. His portrayal of the stoic and determined leader earned him a Saturn Award for Best Actor on Television. Co-star Mary McDonnell shared her thoughts on the actor's impact, stating, he brought such a depth and complexity to the character of Adama that it elevated the entire series. In 2009, the actor received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, solidifying his place in Hollywood history. Reflecting on his career, the actor once said, I've been fortunate to play a variety of roles that have allowed me to explore different aspects of the human experience. The actor who brought William Adama to life in the Battlestar Galactica remake of 24 made sure to incorporate as much realism and credibility as possible into the role. He was particular about ensuring the stories reflected the real world, making the character and the series more relatable to the audience. In the 1982 film Blade Runner, the actor played the role of Gaff, a Blade Runner detective. The film's plot revolves around the question of whether the main character, Rick Deckard, is a replicant or human. The actor's portrayal of Gaff added to the intrigue with his origami figures and ambiguous motives. The director's cut of the film, released in 1992, further fueled the debate with a scene featuring a unicorn, hinting at Deckard's possible replicant status. The actor's dedication to his craft was recognized in 1996 when he received an honorary degree of Doctor of Fine Arts from California State University, Fresno. This recognition highlights the actor's impact on the film and television industry and his contributions to the arts. The actor's artistic vision is deeply rooted in his personal experiences and worldview. Growing up in East Los Angeles, he was exposed to the rich cultural diversity of the city, which later influenced his work in portraying complex and authentic characters. His unique approach to acting involves a deep immersion into the character's background, motivation, and emotions. One example of his distinctive style is his portrayal of Lieutenant Martin Castillo in the television show Miami Vice. Instead of playing the character as a typical tough guy cop, the actor brought a quiet intensity and sensitivity to the role, making Castillo a memorable and unique character. He has also brought his activism and social consciousness to his work, using his platform to raise awareness about important issues such as immigration and education. In his film work, the actor is known for his ability to bring depth and nuance to his characters. 
and stand and deliver. He portrayed real life math teacher Jamie Escalante, delivering a powerful and inspiring performance that resonated with audiences. The actor's personal experiences as a Latino man in America informed his portrayal of Escalante, allowing him to bring authenticity and emotion to the role. The actor's artistic process is also influenced by his background in music and dance. He has spoken about the importance of movement and rhythm in his acting, often using physicality to convey his character's emotions and inner lives. This unique approach to acting has made him a respected and admired figure in the industry with a style that is both distinctive and deeply personal. In the film Blade Runner, the actor played the role of Gaff, where he introduced CitySpeak, a language that has since proven to be incredibly prescient, given Los Angeles' increasing multicultural influence. The actor once owned a red Porsche Turbo, which he purchased in Miami at a sale of items confiscated in drug busts. He famously remarked, he got 30 years. I got the car. However, the Porsche Turbo was later stolen, much to his dismay. Moreover, the actor has shown a strong commitment to social activism. In 2001, he was sentenced to 20 days in jail for trespassing on us Navy land on the Puerto Rican island of Beaks, where he was protesting the use of the island as a bombing test ground. President George W. Bush later promised to end the testing in 2003. The actor's dedication to advocating for change is a testament to his character and his desire to make a positive impact on the world. The actor, known for his roles in films like Stand and Deliver and Blade Runner, has left an indelible mark on the industry. His portrayal of Jamie Escalante in Stand and Deliver brought attention to the challenges faced by minority students in education. The actor's ability to bring depth and authenticity to his characters has inspired many, including actor Isai Morales. Morales, who co-starred with the actor in Stand and Deliver, shared in an interview with NPR, he was the first Chicano movie star that I had ever seen. He was a beacon of hope for me. The actor's influence extends beyond acting. He directed and starred in the HBO film The Burning Season, which earned him an Emmy and a Golden Globe. His work behind the camera has paved the way for other Latino directors in Hollywood. In addition to his film work, the actor has been a strong advocate for social issues, using his platform to raise awareness about issues such as immigration and education. His activism has earned him numerous awards and recognitions, including the National Association of Latino Arts and Culture's Artist of the Year Award. The actor's contributions to the industry and his influence on trends and storytelling are undeniable. His ability to bring authenticity and depth to his characters has inspired a generation of actors and directors. As filmmaker Robert Rodriguez said in an interview with Variety, he's always been a trailblazer, always pushing the envelope for what's possible for Latinos in Hollywood. The actor, known for his role as Lieutenant Martin Castillo in Miami Vice, had a tense relationship with co-star Don Johnson during the show's first season. The two often argued due to their differing acting styles, with the actor channeling his anger towards Johnson in their scenes together. In some episodes, his character, Castillo, never even looks at Johnson's character, Crockett. Beyond his work in Miami Vice, the actor has also been dedicated to raising awareness for humanitarian concerns. He and co-star Mary McDonald went to the United Nations to bring attention to these issues. In addition to his acting and advocacy work, the actor has also been recognized for his contributions to the world of film and television. On March 3, 2008, he and director Robert M. Young attended a show in Madrid, Spain that highlighted their careers. Born in 1947, the actor, Edward James Olmos, has always been passionate about social justice. Growing up in Isla, he witnessed firsthand the struggles of his community. This upbringing shaped his values and interests, which he brings to his work both on and off screen. In his personal life, Almost is known for his philanthropic efforts. He established the Latino Literacy Now organization, which aims to promote reading and writing skills among Latino youth. Additionally, he has been a longtime advocate for environmental causes, using his platform to raise awareness about climate change and promote sustainable practices. Almost his personal values also inform his work as an actor. 
He has often chosen roles that reflect his commitment to social justice, such as his portrayal of a high school teacher in the film stand and deliver. In this role, almost highlighted the importance of education and the potential for transformative change within communities. Moreover, Olmos has been a vocal advocate for immigration reform, drawing from his own experiences as a Mexican-American. He has used his platform to speak out against anti-immigrant rhetoric and policies and to promote understanding and empathy towards immigrants. In addition to his social justice work, Olmos is also passionate about the arts. He has been involved in various artistic endeavors, including music, theater, and film. He has even directed and produced his own films, showcasing his commitment to storytelling and creativity. Overall, almost his personal values and interests inform his work both on and off screen. His commitment to social justice, environmental causes, and the arts is evident in his philanthropic efforts and his choice of roles. By using his platform to raise awareness and promote positive change, almost continues to make a difference in the lives of many. The actor of Aztec in Spanish ancestry is known for his role as Gaff in the film. His character is responsible for creating three origami figures throughout the movie, each with its own symbolic meaning. The first is a chicken made from plain paper, symbolizing Deckard's attempt to chicken out. The second is a man made from a used and discarded paper match, representing the Burning Man. The third is a silver unicorn, which Gaff creates outside Deckard's apartment while contemplating whether to kill Rachel. The significance of the unicorn is left up to interpretation, as it could be symbolic of a quest for something beautiful yet impossible, or it could be taken from Deckard's own dream, implying that he is a replicant. This theory is supported by the fact that Deckard describes two dreams that were taken from Dr. Eldon Tyrell's niece, and in his own dream, there is a unicorn. In addition to his role as Gaff, the actor also demonstrated his language skills in the film. For instance, during the noodle bar scene, he speaks a mix of Hungarian, Japanese, and Korean, instructing Deckard to follow him, and informing him that Captain Bryant wants to see him. Overall, the actor's portrayal of Gaff in the film is a memorable one, leaving audiences to ponder the true nature of Deckard's character and the significance of the origami unicorn. The actor, Edward James Olmos, has left an indelible mark on the film and television industry. With a career spanning over four decades, he has brought depth and authenticity to countless characters, from Stan and delivers Jamie Escalante to Miami Vice's Lieutenant Martin Castillo. His work is often centered on highlighting the experiences of underrepresented communities, contributing to a more diverse and nuanced cinematic landscape. In envisioning his future contributions, almost remains committed to advocating for social justice and representation in the industry. He has expressed interest in producing and directing projects that showcase the stories of marginalized individuals, fostering a more inclusive entertainment industry. For aspiring professionals, almost offers invaluable advice. He emphasizes the importance of perseverance and passion, encouraging them to remain steadfast in their pursuits. He also underscores the value of education, urging young artists to expand their knowledge beyond their craft. By understanding the world around them, they can create more impactful and resonant work. Moreover, Almas advocates for the use of art as a tool for social change. He believes that storytelling can be a powerful catalyst for raising awareness and inspiring action. By engaging with complex social issues, artists can contribute to a more informed and empathetic society. In conclusion, Edward James' almost legacy within the film and television industry is one of dedication, authenticity, and advocacy. As he continues to shape the industry's future, his advice for aspiring professionals serves as a testament to his enduring impact. The role of Lieutenant Ray Calitano in a police drama was first offered to the actor, but he declined. However, he did make three guest appearances on the show. The actor is well known for his role as Gaff in the film. During a car scene, a monitor displays an Environ CTR perch screen, which is similar to the one in the film. This has led fans to speculate that both films might exist in the same universe, a theory supported by the director. When the actor joined the cast of the show Miami Vice, he made a few changes to his character, Lieutenant Martin Castillo. He requested that his character's desk be kept free of paperwork and that the cops knock before entering the office. These small changes added depth to his character 
and contributed to the show's success. Born in 1947, the actor's journey began in earnest during the 1970s. With a relentless passion, he pursued his dream of acting, breaking barriers, and defying conventions. His groundbreaking role in Miami Vice brought him to the forefront of television, forever changing the way Latinos were portrayed on screen. In 1988, the actor delivered a powerful performance in Stand and Deliver, a film that resonated with audiences and left an indelible mark on the industry. This role showcased his incredible range and cemented his status as a force to be reckoned with in Hollywood. Throughout his career, the actor has consistently chosen roles that challenge him and inspire his audience. From Selena to Battlestar Galactica, he has brought depth and nuance to every character he plays. His commitment to his craft and his unwavering dedication to his community have made him a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. The actor's impact extends far beyond the screen. He is a tireless advocate for social justice, using his platform to raise awareness about important issues and inspire positive change. His work in education and community activism is just as impressive as his work in film and television. In the end, the actor's journey is a testament to the power of creativity and perseverance. He has blazed the trail for future generations of Latino actors and artists, proving that with hard work and dedication, anything is possible. His enduring impact on the entertainment industry is a reminder that our stories matter and that our voices deserve to be heard. The actor is known to have a close friendship with Tony Award winner Raul Julia. In one instance, he was even auctioned off for charity, with lunch at the Polo Lounge in Beverly Hills being the prize. The lucky winner was Vicky Roberts. When it comes to the actor's own career, he has expressed pride in his involvement in two projects in particular, the film Blade Runner from 1982 and the show Battlestar Galactica from 2004. These two works stand out as highlights in his extensive body of work. After gaining experience with guest appearances on Hill Street Blues, the actor turned down a regular role, as well as major roles in Scarface and Firestarter. His big break came with the role of Gaff in the groundbreaking film Blade Runner. Gaff's distinctive blue contact lenses were a suggestion by Rucker Hauer and were paid for by the actor himself. Born and raised in California, the actor attended and graduated from Montebello High School in Montebello. His journey in the film industry began after his high school education, leading to a successful career that spans several decades. Initially, the actor was in the running to portray a key character in the film Star Trek III The Search for Spock, but the opportunity ultimately went to Christopher Lloyd due to a height difference. Later, he lent his voice to the Candlelight Processional, a festive event at Epcot in Walt Disney World, bringing holiday stories to life for visitors. Beyond his work in entertainment, he shows his support for scientific advancement by backing the Sense Research Foundation, which works on developing new solutions to age-related diseases. His involvement with the foundation highlights his commitment to contributing to important causes outside of his acting career. After a successful career in acting, the actor was honored with a Doctor of Humane Letters degree from Whittier College in 1993. This recognition was a testament to his contributions to the world of entertainment and his impact on the community. In addition to this honor, the actor was awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1992. Located at 7021 Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood, California, the star serves as a permanent tribute to his body of work and his enduring presence in the industry. Despite these accolades, the actor remained humble and dedicated to his craft. In 1987, he was offered the role of Captain John Luke Picard in Star Trek The Next Generation. However, he declined the role as he wanted the flexibility to work on multiple projects. This decision allowed him to continue to diversify his portfolio and take on roles in a variety of films and shows. Sir Patrick Stewart was eventually cast in the role. The actor's ability to balance his commitments and prioritize his creative freedom is a testament to his professionalism and dedication to his craft. His impact on the industry continues to be felt and his body of work continues to inspire and entertain audiences around the world. Whether on the big screen or the small screen, the actor's performances are always captivating and memorable. After an impressive career spanning decades, the actor has left an indelible mark on the film and television industry. 
from his breakout role in Stand and delivered to his memorable performance in Miami Vice, his work has consistently resonated with audiences. In the world of science fiction, he is perhaps best known for his role as Commander Adama in the critically acclaimed Battlestar Galactica. Throughout his career, the actor has demonstrated his versatility, taking on a wide range of roles in genres. His ability to portray complex and nuanced characters has earned him critical acclaim and the admiration of fans around the world. As we reflect on the actor's impressive body of work, we encourage you to share your thoughts on his legacy in the comments below. What are some of your favorite roles from his career? How has his work impacted you personally? In addition to sharing your thoughts, we invite you to like and share this post with your friend and family. And if you're not already subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button for more content celebrating the creative spirits shaping entertainment. The actor's work has transcended generations and continues to inspire and captivate audiences today. Let's take a moment to appreciate his contributions to the world of film and television.